Hi there. My name is April Mace, and I'm an application delivery and DevOps advisor for CA's Release Automation Solution. Today, every company is a software company, and driving innovation is the key to surviving and thriving in our application economy. Any continuous delivery solution in an enterprise must allow for frictionless innovation. Application deployment processes and supporting infrastructure must support the delivery of new revenue-generating capabilities into the hands of customers rapidly and with minimal risk to the company. To enable this, CA Release Automation facilitates a modular design of both deployment processes and environment architectures, providing highly reusable component and infrastructure definitions to get you up and running with new projects quickly and easily. We'll first look at the definition of a modular deployment, which allows for the development of agnostic processes that can be run in any environment, development through production, despite infrastructure differences. Then we'll look at defining an architecture to scale environments and adopt virtualization and provisioning technologies seamlessly. In the CA Release Automation Web-Based Operations Center, a graphical designer allows users to define modular workflows for each component upon which an application is dependent. This can be web and application server middleware, databases, and also infrastructure elements like virtual hypervisors, load balancers, and networking equipment. The basic element of a workflow is an action, which is a discrete behavior like moving files, creating a directory, performing a deployment action, or modifying a configuration file, among other things. Actions are parameterized so they can be reused across environments. There are over 1,500 actions built into CA Release Automation for a multitude of technologies that are the foundation for today's complex, mission-critical applications. Actions and workflows are combined together into processes that are cross-tier, with dependencies between the tiers represented as links between the workflows. In this way, the end-to-end -end deployment process for an application can be represented. The same reusable workflows can be combined in different arrangements with other components to represent a deployment to more or less complex architectures. This leads to a discussion of modular architecture definition, which allows organizations to scale environments and adopt virtualization and provisioning technologies seamlessly. It could be that a development environment is a simple server with all tiers of the application installed on a single system. Or the application could be distributed across several systems as shown here. Or it could be that CA service virtualization is being used to virtualize backend services. Amazon Web Services or VMware may be used to provision testing environments on the fly. However, once we get to production, we may be deploying the application to a large number of physical servers and virtual servers with a host of technologies like load balancers and networking equipment, all which must be accounted for. CA Release Automation uses server types as an abstraction to represent the different tiers of an application, as well as other technologies involved in a deployment to any environment. They can scale to represent one or hundreds of servers, which can be deployed to serially, in parallel, or with specific rules to optimize deployment based on the capacity of each system. Server types are put together in various combinations to represent different architectures that an environment may have. If a tier or technology does not exist in a given environment, the associated workflows are simply not run. CA Release Automation automatically adjusts the deployment process to the corresponding architecture definition. At the same time, core workflows for the application tiers are reused to ensure fewer errors and the application of best practices across the product lifecycle. This means less rework of processes, less complexity for a typical user, and higher productivity for the entire product team. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on this channel about CA Release Automation.